Hello everybody. Uh, recently I have received questions about moving and rotating beams. So this video will be dedicated to these kind of operations. Here is the cabin. First of all we need to hide all the unedited elements of the house. Go to the tree of objects here. By the right click select the unneeded elements. This will be roof slopes. Click hide. Then boards lathing. Right click hide. Hide. Rafters hide. Rafters hide. Now, okay. Here's what we got. We've got visible access to the beams. Expand to the full view. Uh, now go to house, beams, conversions. Let it be with duplication. Now we need to select required objects. Okay, beam one, two, three, four and five. Click finish. Here is the grid that will help us to define the rotation point. Now we choose the middle. Click it. And now you can rotate the beams. You can rotate them manually or you can specify the required angle. You can go to the bottom of the page and just put 90 degrees angle. Click enter. Now we've got the beams crosswise our house. Here they are. You may want to delete the center beam uh, because it overlaps the wall logs. So click beams delete and just choose this beam. Click left and uh, so you've got this beam deleted. This is what was required. Now let's see how to move the boards. Go again to the tree of objects. Hide roof slopes and the high lathing. Hide. Hide. Okay. Expand the view. Okay, so if you need to, for example, move or copy only one rafter board, you need first to ungroup them. Uh, here we've got two sections of the program. Select K3. Then Structural Operations, Ungroup. Then select our rafters. Click Finish. Now they are ungrouped. You can select any of the objects. Go House, Conversions, Shift, without duplication, and select the board. Click Finish. Now get back, get back to full views and work in the side view window. Okay, here you can move your board and in the 3D view you shall see how it is positioned. Now put the board in its new position. Here for example. Click Finish. 
or enter. The board has moved. Let's see it. Here it is. Okay. Uh, the boards can also be rotated. And that uh, rotation with duplication. Select the board. Finish. Now I need to select the rotation point. Let it be the end of the board. And here it starts to rotate. You can specify the rotation an angle again. I think it can be 180 degrees. Input it here. Click Enter. Here we go. Let's see how it looks. This is the board. Of course you could uh, put uh, the rotation point into any other place and and all the described operations can of course be performed with a group of objects such as rafters, group of beams and etc.